Okay, so we did a couple of things to get out of the compressor. It was a 150, I mean a 220 volt compressor, a linear compressor from LG. These are pretty bad. So what I do is that I install these. Uh, they're made by Embrico, very reliable company. <coughs> and uh, well, this compressor works a lot better than that other one. It's one horsepower, 115 volts. So we did a couple adjustments. I added a relay so that way when the compressor when the when the fan motor turns on the compressor turns on as well and uh, that's how you get that trick done so the defrost system works with this so uh, whenever uh, the refrigerator needs to defrost it turns on or, uh, it turns off the fan and turns on the fan so it's kind of like that little time uh, timer which is already integrated in this computer it uh, takes care of turning this thing on when it defrosts and uh, well that's what I use so that way I could go and turn this 150 volt compressor on and a lot of people think that I that you have to grab it directly from here and put it over there now you have to get your source which is 110 from straight from the plug so I mean if you guys want all the the info on how to do all this I could go ahead and uh, post a video later but today this is what I got uh, you can make something out of this it's pretty simple uh, and yeah that's how you get rid of the algae problem maybe 10 9 out of 10 refrigerators are always gonna come with that problem the compressor it's, it's a pretty big issue and after that you just go and add a filter dryer access valve so you could go ahead and check uh, everything make sure that you could get the the vacuum done as well and then put the gas right after uh, this one has a three-way valve so what I do is that I uh, leave it on for half an hour that way if, uh, if the side of the, the evaporator is off or something I, I mean the side of the fridge the evaporator fridge is closed or something I just go ahead and uh, make sure that that one turns on as well I do the vacuum with the same compressor on and I use another unit I use this 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 uh, filter dryer with the access valve that way you could go ahead and do the vacuum with this this is how I get it done done it for over 10 years and it's worked for me so yeah I mean you don't need really need a vacuum use the same compressor that's what I tell people that's that's how the factory most factories take them off that's why they cut off the valve they cut off the valve this axis valve and uh, so a lot of people like they don't know they that, that that's another way to do the vacuum but if you studied I mean you might know a little bit I didn't study at all, I don't have my certificate or anything, but I've been working on this for 10 years, so I know what I'm doing. So, yeah. Get back to me, email me or even anything, okay? Alright.